Hi folks, I'm going to take a close-up look at these gorgeous new Easy Press totes. If you decide to purchase, please use my affiliate link in the description under this video and you'll find discount code information there too. Keep watching! So let's take a look first at the outside of this gorgeous storage bag. This is the one that will fit your 6x7 Easy Press. At the beginning of this video I showed you that the 9x9 bag is only for the 9x9 Easy Press 2. If you have the original 9x9 Easy Press, you need to get the largest bag for the 12x10. But let's take a look at this one. The outside fabric of the storage bag has a stay clean coating so if you do get something on it you just want to use a damp cloth and wipe it off and it should come back perfect. On the front you have a zippered pocket where you can store your tools or even your cell phone whatever you want to carry along. On the back of the bag you have a pocket and this one fits the smaller 8x10 mat perfectly so convenient. You have a gorgeous leather handle with the Cricut insignia on it and you have an adjustable shoulder strap that's nice and wide for comfort. So let's look inside. The inside fabric of this bag is similar to your pressing mat in that it's heat proof. That's terrific. The straps that secure your machine into the bag are not heat proof, so you never want to put a burning hot Easy Press on top of those straps. You'll melt them and ruin your bag. Let's take a look at how we store your Easy Press. You want to make sure that it's turned off and unplugged, of course. Set it aside on a towel or on your Easy Press mat and let it cool for a good five minutes. Take your tray, push it down inside the bag with the straps out, of course. Push it down inside your bag. Once you're comfortable that it's cool enough, place your Easy Press in the bag and you want to wrap your cord around it. Easy enough to do. Push it down inside. There we go. And you're going to take your security strap, cross it over, and it's nicely held in place. No worries about it flipping around inside the bag. We'll zipper it up. There you go. Perfect for taking it wherever you need to or for just keeping it clean and nicely stored in your home. So let's go ahead and take a look at the storage bag for your 9x9. So here's the gorgeous storage bag for the 9x9 Easy Press 2. I want to emphasize again to you that it does not fit the original Easy Press with the blue insert. That does not fit in this bag. I'll show you why. The safety trays are very different. This safety tray from the original Easy Press is a lot deeper and bulkier than the Easy Press 2. So if you're looking for a storage carry tote for your original Easy Press, you need to go with the 12 by 10 bag. Set that aside. This bag also has all the same features. It has a large zipper pocket for your accessories. It has a stay clean coating, so you just wipe it with a damp cloth. On the back, you have a nice big pocket. And I neglected to mention that they all have a magnetic close on them. 
it fits my 12 by 12 mat perfectly. So you can easily carry your mat along. Once again, you have the leather handle with the Cricut insignia. And you have the adjustable, nice wide shoulder strap. That's very comfortable. Again, the inside of the bag is made with the heat proof fabric, but the straps are not heat proof. You need to remember that and do not put a hot easy press on top of your straps. So let's take a look at the 12 by 10 bag. And this is the beautiful 12 by 10 storage bag. It fits your Easy Press 2 12 by 10, and it also fits your original Easy Press with the blue insert, will fit in this bag. It has the super comfortable shoulder strap, and this one has the Velcro shoulder pad that is removable, and the whole strap is adjustable. Once again, you have the zipper pocket in the front, and you have the magnetic closure on the back pocket, a nice big pocket that you can certainly fit your mats or whatever you want to carry with you. Again, we have the heat proof material on the inside. Your straps, once again, are not heat proof. And just for fun, let's take a look at how the original Easy Press fits in this bag our larger tray and it fits perfectly and our original easy press once again you can wrap the strap around it and secure it with the safety strap and it's all nice and secure zip it up there we go I love this one. I think it's really practical to bring along full of materials even if you're carrying an Easy Press 2 in the 9x9 storage bag. This bag is terrific. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing these Easy Press 2 storage bags. Please like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to check the description of this video for my affiliate link to help support my channel. Thank you for watching.